Steelers yesterday by the L.A. Rams. They are, of course, currently without Matthew Stafford. 0-3 oh, with backup quarterbacks filling in. <sighs> Life's tough in L.A. right now. Shannon, what do you make of the Rams claiming Baker? I've seen the Rams play. Even with Stafford, they weren't good. I saw the Rams play without Stafford. They were even worse. <laughs> I do not expect Breaker Mayfield to come in here and be this beacon of light, this great shining light, this, this, this knight on a white horse save, saving the day. Mm. They're a bad team. He's a bad quarterback. It's a match made mm. in hell. Perfect. Mm. I don't know what you expected, what they thought. He's going to come in and turn around? He's not. Now I think you're afraid to start to come to my side. He's a guy. And once you realize that, you'll be okay. Mm. They just put Matthew Stafford on the IR because of a spinal contusion. John... Bryce Perkins was bad. John Wolford, he had that moment skip. I think they went to Seattle. I think they beat Seattle in Seattle with him. Oh, he came in after, uh, yeah, no, they, he, they did. No. Because remember, he hurt his thumb. Well, he hurt his thumb. Yeah. And then uh, uh, golf came in. Because golf okay. had, because golf oh, had. Oh, to you mean in, in the past? Yeah, oh, when he oh, went right, not yeah, this year. Yeah, no, okay. no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I, I got it. Yeah. I got it. And so, and so at this point, they've lost six in a row. But yeah, go yeah, ahead. yeah. They're not, they're not, about to be seven. Mm. But anyway, look. Uh, is he going to play? Uh, third, I think they play Thursday. Did they play Thursday? Thursday night, night against the Raiders <laughs> at SoFi. You'll be there, right? No, man, no. Yeah. No, I'm not going to go but watch two bad teams mm -hmm. play. Well, the Rams, I mean, they're another Rams. I mean, I mean, if I would go, I would go just watch Devontae and see if he can get 150. Yeah. Uh, but, Skip, Baker Mayfield in 2022, he has an 18.2 QBR. Mm. They started tracking QBR in 2006. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There have been 521 qualified quarterbacks. Mm. Baker Mayfield is 520 out of 521 as far as lowest QBR for a season. Mm. Can I interest you in that? And somehow you think he going to do what? Mm. Do who win? Mm. Like Ricky Waters say, do what? Why? Mm. <laughs> no, Skip. It, I had a feeling yesterday. You, you asked me what I think. I was like, the only place I can think of is the Rams. You did they, say that. They got two, I was they impressed. Got, Skip, they got two bad quarterbacks. And mm. so they need a quarterback. So why not? Mm. And he might not play. They might put Josh Johnson. No, Josh Johnson went to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. That's guys. I mean, what am I supposed to do with this kid? I mean, what am I expecting? I mean, what, what do you, you expect? He's going to re relaunch his career here in mm. the last, what, five games? You think that's what he's going to do? He's going to turn around his career with the Rams? Mm. Tell me when it's my turn. It's your turn. Okay, thank you. Here we go. This kid, and I still consider him a kid because I don't think he's grown up yet. He cannot get a break because I threw out the possibility would the Texans take a shot because he's way better than either of the quarterbacks they have started right. this year. I wish they had taken a shot because he would be way, way, way better off with the Houston Texans right now than he would be with the Rams. So he started the year with the team that all the power rankings ranked dead last, 32nd and dead last. That was the Carolina Panthers going into this season. So he started with that team. Now he winds up on a waiver claim with the team that's a cumulative 30th in power rankings, the champion L.A. Rams, the team you picked to repeat mm -hmm. in the Super Bowl, and they are an unmitigated disaster because they're more of a disaster than the Houston Texans are. At least the Texans compete with some. You know, th this team is non-competitive yeah. because it lost Cooper Cup. It lost Allen Robinson. It obviously lost Matt Stafford. But the offensive line from day one this year has been a shambles. Yeah, not, it has been a wreck. No AD, no okay. A. Sean Robinson. Okay. All right. So it, it's just a mess upon mess upon mess. And wait a second. They're telling me last night that, oh, they shipped it, you know, they FedExed him or whatever the playbook so that when he's flying to L.A., he can try to absorb the playbook on the fly so that he can start Thursday night against the Raiders on Thursday night football. Ooh, what? Chandler Jones and Max Crosby. What? <laughs> Please let him start. Please. What? What? Please. This is a fate worse than death. I mean, what is this like punishment? I mean, what what is this? What, you, can you, you imagine? Do you want to play football or not, can, son? Can you imagine? Do you want to play football or not, son? Well, yeah, he does okay. want to play, and I'm sure if they ask him to, he'll say, "Okay, I'm gonna give it my best shot." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, that it, ain't much. It, hey, is this not an embarrassment? What, what, what are you doing? Well, had he done what he was supposed to, that wouldn't have happened. Had he done what he was supposed to do in Cleveland, this right. would not have happened. Okay, so I, I'm going to get to that in one second, but I'm going to get back to the Rams. So it was interesting. Their offensive coordinator was talking about we viewed this move as acquiring talent because Baker's a talent whether you think so or not. He, is, he went first overall for a reason because he's talented. And 
They also said that we would like, this is about competitive nature because we need a spark. Baker can provide a spark because he is a spark plug kind of player, but not for this team right now. Right now, Baker Mayfield okay. is a flint that's wet. Okay. Ain't no spark being right. provided. So here's the point. I do like the fit here longer term, and I'm hoping for Baker's sake that he can show a glimpse here or there because he and Sean McVay are birds of a feather, and Baker hasn't had a Sean McVay because I'm going to remind you. The basket. Uh, no, the, not birds of a feather. What, what, what do I not like about Sean McVay? He's got a lot of hot dog in him. Remember yeah. Coach McYea running yeah, all the way up the tunnel? Like he's running up the tunnel yeah, like yeah, Sean yeah, Jackson. Yeah, I liked it. Remember liked against it. Brady, he's You're running it. up the tunnel. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's Baker all over. So McVay has some Baker in him, and Baker has a whole lot of McVay in him. And Baker needed somebody to encourage that kind of behavior. Right. Because Baker has a lot of what they used to call piss and vinegar in him. Yeah. That's an old baseball term, but that's what he's got in him. That's the way he plays. He's kind of an F.U. kind of a guy who loves to, to create front-running sort of momentum. Yeah. So does McVay. Yeah, but so he... I think they would thrive on each other because Baker's smart. He know, he, he's got the, the, the IQ to match wits with McVay. I think they would be a good click going forward depending and on whatever happens. going forward. Yeah. We snatched him up off the waiver mm -hmm. wire. Hoping that he leaves so we can get a conditional draft pick. That's okay. what we're trying to do because we right. ain't got none of those. Because well, right we... now, uh, Detroit got our pick, which might be the third pick of the draft, which might be Jalen uh, Carter. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine what Detroit's about to parlay the Rams pick mm -hmm. into? Yep. <laughs> I can. Okay, but that was F them picks, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and what did you get effing we them got, picks? We got a Super Bowl. We, we good. We got a Super Bowl. Okay. I, I, we didn't anticipate everybody getting injured this year. Cooper Cup getting injured. Uh, Matthew Stafford, the really the Marcus Robinson, even before he got injury skip, it was not working out. The offensive line has been a total disaster, mm -hmm. and the defense hasn't been as good as, they, as mm -hmm. people thought it was going to be. Okay. For whatever reason, it has not. All right, so now back to Baker's just a guy. I'm going to say this one last time on Baker Mayfield. Before the draft, I said I would take him number one overall, yes. and you said I would take Sam Darnold. Yes. Just about everybody said they would take Sam Darnold, and I turned out to be right about Cleveland went for Baker Mayfield. They did. You're right. And then what happened the first year? He finished second for Rookie of the Year because he won seven games for a team that went 0-16. He had a tremendous rookie year. Then in the second year, it was Odell. He loved Odell. They socialized together. They vacationed together. They did not click on the field for whatever reason. But once Odell went down and out in year number three, Baker took off again. They went 11-5 and five in year number three and won their first playoff game since 1994. He did so with a QBR of 91 at Pittsburgh against your arch rival. He had a sensational year that year. So he proved that he was worthy of the number one overall pick because he had two great years in Cleveland, and you try to say that he's trash. So I would respect your opinion a whole lot more if you had said he was trash before the draft, which you never did, no. or if you'd said he was trash during his rookie year, which you never did, or if you said he was trash in his third year, which you never yeah. did. You were very quiet yeah. about it. In fact, at one point, you started preempting and and co-opting my bandwagon by driving it and calling him shake and bake. Yeah. He's a guy. Wait, he's not a guy. He showed you he could play at an extremely high level yeah. because he did for two big years in Cleveland. I mean, we, Skip, we've all he proved it. It's on his resume. Yeah. That that's but, why McVeigh is saying, I'm gonna take a shot. We've all purchased mm -hmm. things in the beginning. He was like, oh man, no. I really like this. This is great. No. And then come he to showed realize you. that was wasted. Legit. No, not, not just legit. a guy. No, Very he's not. legit. He's not. And Sam Darnold has no stretch in his career like Baker had for two full years in Cleveland. But, two full years. Skip, the man, mm. I mean, two teams have said we've seen enough. Okay, but he goes to Carolina, and they're trash. But, they were bottom of the barrel guess what, trash. But guess what Carolina did, has yeah. not told Sam Donald? Okay. We haven't seen okay. enough. But what, what did they do? They they gave three draft picks for him. They gave a two, a, what was it, two, four, and six for him? Ta-da! What did they give for Baker? They, they gave $19 million for what Sam What did they Darnold. give for Baker? Okay, they were foolish. They made a big mistake on Sam Darnold because I first guessed it. I told you before the draft, Sam Darnold will fail in this league because I don't like his poise and presence and command of the position. Yeah. I don't like it. Okay. And I will be right about that, and I've been right about that. Okay. So it's as simple as that. I first guessed it, but you didn't he, first he, guess it. He has, he has 
a couple of games, or let's just say if you combine the seasons together of the five seasons he's had, well, he's put together one season. Baker Mayfield's put together no, one No, two. Season. Two seasons. No, no, no. They it, went 11 and 5 his third year. 11 and 5, two. and then his rookie season, right? Okay, yeah, so it's two full years. No, no, no. The rookie, I mean, he won seven games for a bad team as a rookie. He's finished second in the, the rookie of the year well, voting. I mean, I mean, from the looks of thing, over the last two years, he's a bad quarterback. Huh. Okay. They don't let good okay. quarterbacks go. Okay, but, but he fractured his shoulder and tore his labrum in game number so two. excuse this and, you kept saying, well, you, you should get out of there because you're putting a bunch of bad yeah. tape out there. Yeah, is, you're hurt. He had surgery the day after the season two years ago. He had surgery. ...to sign Odell Beckham Jr. Dak, Micah, and CD, all just a few of the players who back bringing OBJ in. Now, though, it looks less likely Dallas will ink Odell to a deal. According to reports, Dallas is now concerned about OBJ being healthy enough to contribute this season. That following a medical evaluation. Shannon, if Dallas doesn't sign Odell, how much do you think it'll hurt their chances at winning a Super Bowl? I don't think it increases or decreases because I thought they had an excellent chance with or without Odell Beckham. I see C.D. Lamb getting better and better every week. I see Michael Gallup getting more and more confidence in his knee. He's starting to flourish in this offense. And so for me, I, did, I didn't look at it like if they signed him, oh, that puts him over the hump. It's a slam dunk. If they don't, oh, man, they should be. I, don't, I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't view it as that. I think it would skip. It would have been a nice consolation prize, a nice accessory. Instead of having, you know, three candles, you got four candles. But it's not, candles don't make the birthday cake. Yep. The, the cake is already what it is. And if you look at their offense since Dak has been back, the numbers speak for themselves. 37, 38 points a game, the first down, the third down conversions. The number, like I said, Skip, the numbers speak for themselves. So I don't look at it as a, man, I don't know what's going to happen. So for me, 